Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and this is Birch and Lily, where I talk about all of the knitting and cross stitch projects that I have worked on over the past couple weeks. Today's video is a little bit different and I'm sure you noticed that it's going up on a day that it normally doesn't. The reason for that is because in a couple days it is going to be my day for the season of socks. You may formally know this as Sockvent. Uh, we did change the name though this year to Season of Socks and my day is coming up on December 19th, 2020. Um, basically how it works, starting at 12 a.m. Eastern Time on December 19th, 2020, I will be putting my new pattern on sale for 50% off for that day only. It will end December 19th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. Anyways, I wanted to make this video so that I could show you the socks. I have been keeping these a secret for quite some time. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen one picture already, but I wanted to make sure everyone here on YouTube was able to see the socks as well and know about the sale. So I will make sure that the pattern is linked down below if you are interested in purchasing it December 19th. It will not go live until December 19th, so I will make sure right at 12 o'clock a.m. I will put the link down below in the description. So let's jump into the socks. These socks are called the Rilla socks. Now, if you are an Anne of Green Gables fan, you will know that Rilla lived at Ingleside. Um, and Ingleside is one of my most popular sock patterns. It actually, let me grab it. Might as well. I will put Ingleside on one blocker and Rilla on the other. Here we go. So this is Ingleside right here, and this is Rilla. Um, so basically what I did, I took components from Ingleside and turned them into a new sock design while still keeping everything that was people's favorites, I guess. I don't know, it's beautiful and I love it. So with Ingleside, there's this braided cable running down the front of the sock. Kind of see there, I'll twist it all the way. So it runs down the front of the sock with uh, seed stitch panels on the side. And then the back of the sock has two little cables running down it. So that's the gist of Ingleside. I won't talk about them too much because this is not what the video is about. Anyways, here is my pair of Rilla socks. So the Rilla socks have that same braid cable, but it runs down the front of the sock three times. And then there are slip stitches in between. And then the back of it is all seed stitch. I find it super fun, super relaxing. It knit up really quickly and all of my testers said the same. Um, I have pictures from some of them so I'll make sure at the end of this video that I put a whole bunch of their pictures up for you as well so you can see the socks knit up in different colors. Um, but let's get into the construction of these socks. You have a one by one twisted rib. Of course, you can change that to whatever you want. Um, like I said, the seed stitch runs down the back and the cable pattern on the front. And then the seed stitch does go into the heel flap. Very simple. The pattern includes instructions on how to do this. Um, but yeah, the seed stitch runs all the way down the heel flap and then it becomes stockinette on the foot. And this pattern includes a wedge toe in it. So, very straightforward. If you haven't done many cabling projects, these cables, despite how intricate they look, are exceptionally simple. So definitely a wonderful project if you're trying your hand at cables. Um, really fun to knit. And what else should I say? Yarn. Um, this pattern is knit up out of Ottoman Indigo fibers on their classic sock base, which is a 7525. This colorway here is cayenne. They're very good at keeping their yarn in stock, so I, while I can't guarantee that this color is in stock, there's a really high chance it is or will be very soon. So that is pretty much it. Ah, uh, no, needle. <laughs> This is all over the place, but it's nice and short, so hopefully it's not too bad. Um, the needle size that this pattern calls for is a 2.25 millimeter US 1. Of course, again, everything in this pattern is totally customizable. If you don't want to do a heel flap and gusset, you want to put a fish lips kiss heel in here or something, totally doable. 
You can change the cuff, totally doable. If you need to change needle size, of course, because you don't need gauge, totally doable. Um, the pattern does come in three sizes. So you have a small, medium, large, 56 stitches, 64 and 72. Um, and actually I have my notes here. Let me pull up and I can tell you the diameter of feet for that. Hold up my computer here. <laughs> um, let me check my notes. So the small will fit a foot approximately eight to nine um, inches in diameter, which is about 20 to 22.5 centimeters. The medium will fit nine to 10 inches or approximately 22.5 to 25 centimeters. And the large will fit 10 to 11 inches or about 25 to 27.5 centimeters. Um, now, of course, that too is adjustable. If you decided to go down a needle size and knit a size small and your gauge, you hit gauge with the normal size needles called for, you could totally get a smaller sock. Like it's very customizable. If you're having trouble, I'm always happy to help you out with that if you're confused. Um, but yeah, I think that's about everything. If you have any questions, of course, my comment section is always open. Um, you can also send me an email. I prefer if you don't contact me through Instagram or Ravelry, just because it's really hard to sort through those DMs. But email or comments down below is totally wonderful and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But yeah, um, I hope you're just as excited for Season of Socks as I am. I hope you've been joining in. And if you haven't, make sure you are because it runs until December 24th. So there's definitely a lot more chances to get sock patterns at 50% off. So thank you so much for joining me for this short little clip. Um, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye. <music>